you probably guess why uh, what I'm gonna talk about next is the Hunger Games Mocking J Part One. For for those who are asking me why I put this on the list, it's just because um, uh, recently I looked at IMDb and and trailers for the Mocking Mark J Part Two. I could be wrong here, but people absolutely hated the this one. Everyone called this boredom garbage. Some of them call them call it tension garbage. Tension grabber and drags for for her to become the part two, which I can agree with that, but except they keep making it his nuisance. But I did like this movie, and the link to the review could be on screen or on the description below, or my of my full opinion on Mark and J Part One. But I do admit it was still in my early days of uh, movie reviewing. Unlike who I am now, I just watch the movie and then accept the criticisms everyone's having. But I don't want to go too much further, I just want to let everyone know that if you go for a trailer, that logo trailer or IMDB, everyone hated it. Like, more hated reviews and more people bashing on it because it's, because it's just part one. I like, I don't mind part ones and part twos to movies. But anyway, I really want to get uh, get a move on on this. Now let's move on to number six. Is Coach clear? Hopefully, no one bashes me for putting this in. Oh right, this is a PS3 controller. Number six. You gotta blast me for putting this in. Because most people say this is a not a great comedy. Some of this is because Adam Sandler is not funny anymore. And because he has Kevin James with him. And has his old oldest friends and a filming in the lake. Number six is The Other Guys. I got you there. I honestly got you. I thought, you thought you, uh, I was talking about a grown up. Then why the fuck didn't you say so? But nope. I tri I didn't. I improv tricking you to believing I'm. I liked grown ups. I said. Uh, I did say that. I just say that Adam Sandler is not funny anymore. If you kept track of my Facebook page, you understand why I keep talking about Adam Sandler. But this movie, uh, or the other guys, most people didn't really like it. Just to be quite honest, because all the jokes are ruined in the trailer. But guess what? I did not see the trailer. I watched it when it came out on Blu-ray. And I freaking loved it. Will Ferrell is funny. Mark Wahlberg is funny. They're all funny in it. It's all because I'm not watching the trailer. And I do admit, Samuel Jackson and Dwayne The Rock Johnson kids got kicked out of the party because this movie's called The Other Guys. It's like the underdog story. But the jokes still work in this movie for me if you don't watch the trailers because all the, most of the trailers ruined all the jokes. Except for the one big funny joke in it which I won't ruin. And like like I said earlier on the video, every film is every movie is subjective. But I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate, but I got something to prepare for everyone. Who keeps spashering me on the comments? I got a weapon to protect myself with. So, accept my opinion or get used to head slice stuff. Or get forced to play Sonic 3 Riders with Angry Joe. Yeah, I just, my, like I said in kick -ass, uh, for Kick-Ass 2, I will do the full reviews when I feel like it for these movies. And a potential movie breakdown by see by scene or research about what happened behind the scenes. Now... Let's get to number five, shall we? 
I do admit that I like Marvel films. That's why I have Marvel comic book uh, frame poster. But it doesn't really look frame, doesn't it? But... For Iron Man 2 and 3, I made full review of the Iron Man trilogy. But I really... For my opinion on Iron Man 2 and 3, I liked it. I know what you're saying. Why you like this? And like these? And why do you buy? How do you buy that plot twist with the Mandarin and all that? But and stupid villain with Whiplash and all that. But Iron Man two and three, I like those films. Just to be quite honest, I like those movies. But most people just ask uh, outright. Keeps them saying this movie, or that and the two movies, are the same examples of the MCU of when they're unbalanced and not a very balanced storytelling. I got one more for you. Fuck. And another word. You. But, I just like these films because it has an interesting story, and I buy the plot twist in Iron Man 3. But Iron Man 2, everyone keeps bashing on. I didn't mind Iron Man not being in it that long. Since you can look at the honest way of Iron Man 2 to see how long he is in it. Mind me taking up the jumper? Because we're gonna go on ramp mode on Iron Man 3. Not I'm gonna save for the next uh, slide, but please understand that. That every film is subjective. But I will make full reviews for Iron Man 2 and 3. Why don't I feel like it? I hope you're very patient for me to make MCU reviews. But, on to the next one.